My next guest is best known for her role as Lois Lane in the Superman movies. Now she's got a regular role on the hit NBC series Boston Common. That airs Sunday nights at 8.30. Please welcome Margot Kidder. Well, I love those animals. We have them all in Montana. So oh, yeah, they're great. Fun. They're great. Yeah. Oh, is that right? There's There's a, a lot of The bison, though, was a little scary. The bison's scary. Well, the when cougar? you go to Yellowstone Park, I have a cougar that comes around my house all winter and leaves big footprints. And that's all but, he leaves? Just big footprints? Well, You're they lucky. don't come out in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. But they're scary. They will attack you. No, well, if, if you kind of threaten them, they will, but generally they'll run from you, yeah. But, well, they said a cougar will bring down a human, like, boom, like that. If the human's threatening to the cougar, I think, I think it, if you're just standing there, it's generally going to run away. Really? When yeah. I've seen them, they've run away well, from you're me very and lucky. my dogs, yeah. I, really? That's amazing. I because yeah. they're just telling me we had a woman eaten here in Los Angeles by a cougar. Well, this is Los Angeles. She yeah, was probably a very scary woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was it. <laughs> well, there's no showbiz in Montana. So you just kind of hang out in the cabin? I have a wonderful cabin at yeah. the foot of the mountains and write and, and watch the Jay Leno show. My only TV is... Why, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> is the news every night and Jay Leno. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, now, we used get to do one this channel, show. actually. You used to do this show, well, that's why I said <laughs> I know, I was well, you know, I was thinking it must be a reason. I actually, I could change to Letterman, but it would take about 20 minutes with the rabbit ears. Nah, so I don't worry. I like you much better. Yeah, I don't worry about it. So. But see, you seem very relaxed. Now, when I spoke to you earlier, you said, oh, I'm nervous. But why would you be nervous? You, you used to do the show all the time, didn't you, years well, ago? Well, I used to do it all the time, but in the old days, when yeah. we were wild and bad, generally in the green room, they pumped you full of booze, and I was never adverse to that in those days. So you came out quite sloshed and really made a major fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, those Ed McMahon would kind of go down the couch with his cup full of vodka, and you <laughs> there were, it, was, it, was it, it was different. It, it was different. Now we use crack, but it's basically the same. Yeah. It's basically the same, yeah. same, same product. Now you came in from what? where? Toronto? Is that where you were? I came were? in from Toronto. I was there. Um, hosting a, or filming the hosting of a really fascinating series of, of uh, documentaries on different medical things you can have wrong with you. And, and the, uh, each, each... Is this I an autobiographical show? Yeah, or like? well, <laughs> they did have a couple of mental illness ones. But there was a, there was a, um, each one had a name. For example, the one on pain was called The uh, Invisible Enemy. And one of the ones... I had to do the intro, and I said, the body is blah, 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 and then I go, hello, I'm Margot Kidder. This week, waiting to be normal. And I just, <laughs> like, I went, I can't say this. I kept saying, I can't say this one. I can't do it. However, I got through it. No, but you did, but I know you've been very can. I mean, this has been mm -hmm. a, a rough year for you. At least it hasn't been a cakewalk. No, yeah. no, no. But I, I mean, you handle it with humor, and I think that I mean that's important. I mean, I think you listen. Humor is has been known since the ancient Greeks, and even the gods in the Greek myths knew that humor was the great healer for whatever ails you. It's why I watch your show why, thank you, every thank you, night. Right. And uh, Aristophanes, the books I gave oh, you yes, previously, was nice. the great thank humorist uh, of ancient Greece, who knew that the more you poked fun at something particularly the gods, the better you were going to feel and the saner you were going to feel. Well, how did sometimes the magic works and sometimes yeah. it doesn't. What can I say? Because I know <laughs> that whole thing. I mean, you were literally on the streets there for a couple of days. I was. What was that like? Was that, I mean, were you just delusional and, and didn't know what I was were? delusional um, and it was terrifying. But I must say, uh, after we talked, I, I realized that you were part of the delusion. Um, very much so. I thought, <laughs> you know, I had... CIA agents coming out of the wood, woodwork and uh, a lot of homeless people who I thought were good CIA agents protecting me. And I was trying to get, which is when I got picked up, I was trying to get to a friend's cabin up in La Crescenta, which is in nature, which I need oh, sure, as part of my life. And she keeps the key to the cabin under a large bust of Jay Leno. And there's this huge uh, <laughs> clay bust with a large chin. Um, so you know it's you. Yeah. And, and as I was walking through the streets going, oh my God, I've got to go away from the CIA. Oh, there's another agent. Oh, oh the key has got to be under Jay Leno's chin. It's just got to be there or I'll die. Our and next I'll... animal is a fascinating... <laughs>
<laughs> so all the way through this trek through L.A., I just kept praying that... Now, how did people not recognize you? I mean, you're on TV, you're in movies. I mean, what, did you get recognized as who you were? You are? know, we don't really want to go into the teeth business again. It was <laughs> very highly publicized, yeah. but I was, I was looking very rough, so yeah. I think some people probably did. Were homeless people nice? The homeless nice people were so wonderful. And so caring, it was as if they were a unified community that knew that any human being, anyone in this audience, you, me, could slip that far very quickly. And they were really caring. Well, see, wonderful. that's the odd thing about Los Angeles. People like they don't have money. I mean, you see people on the streets every day, and it doesn't change who they are. They just don't have any money. So they yeah. were very nice people. In the oh, there, are, or there was um, one guy I remember said, I know you from your other life. And I thought, and I might have, who knows, but you know, there are probably some people who used yeah. to be doctors. Or... Now, do you like what you're doing now? Do you like the sitcom? I so love the sitcom I'm yeah. doing now. Uh, doing comedy is so different than, than doing drama. Um, I used <laughs> to, I used to, when I was younger, always wanted to do, to do great dramatic parts because, um, you know, you plunge the debts and you're taken seriously, you think. Um, and then I realized at one point I was paid to go crazy, which I guess for me is not a particularly necessary thing. Well, um, but if you can pick so, up a couple of bucks too, what the so, hell? <laughs> and, and, and uh, given the Aristophanes point of view that laughter, true yeah. laughter or sanity, uh, and because NBC is the only station I get on my television in Boston yeah, Commons watch on yourself. NBC, it all came well, together. Let's take a Margo, good to have you back. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. and uh, it looks like it's going to be a great year for you. Thank you. It looks good. Good to good. see you again. Well, congratulations. Boston Thanks Comment. very much. Margo Kidd, I'll be right back with the music of Dave Matthews Band right after this. See, that was easy.